Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when camera is not working because of this error code that is 0xE00F4292. So before trying any troubleshooting step, first of all, you can try to disable or enable Windows HDR on your computer. So if your computer supports HDR, you can press Windows key plus Alt plus B, which will help you Windows plus Alt plus B, which will help you to turn on or turn off Windows HDR. So you can first of all, you can try, try to disable Windows HDR and then check. Try to open the camera app and then check if that does not work. You can enable Windows HDR, open the camera app and then you can check still not working. Then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to restart a computer. Simply restart a computer once and after the system restart, check your camera. Now, still the camera is not working, then make sure camera access is on in privacy settings. Now for this open windows settings and then go to privacy and security, scroll down and find camera, click on camera. Now over here, make sure camera access is on over here. And if you're using any application, if you're using camera in any particular application, like maybe Alexa or maybe um, Zoom, so make sure that it is on over here. So whichever application you're using, you can turn on the access for your camera in that particular application. So make sure camera access is on and then check. Next step is to run camera troubleshooter. Now for this open window settings once again, and then go to system and then scroll down, click on troubleshoot, click on other troubleshooters. Here you can see camera in front of it, run option. So click on run. Now over here you can see, do we have your consent to run automated diagnostic to try solving your, uh, your camera problem? So click on yes. So just follow the on-screen steps over here. And once the troubleshoot is complete, you can restart your computer and then check the camera. So here you can see, please wait while we try resetting your camera services. So let the process complete and then check the camera. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can reset camera app. Now for this type in camera in Windows search box and then make a right click on camera app and then click on app settings. Now over here, scroll down. Here you can see the repair option. So first of all, try repair and then open camera app and then check. If that does not work, you can reset camera so click on reset reset now after the reset you can try opening camera and then check still you are facing the problem next step is to disable or enable camera so make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager so expand cameras if you have cameras option in some computer you might see imaging device so you can expand imaging device or cameras and if you find the camera over here, make a right click and then click on disable device. Click on yes. And then make a right click once again on the camera and then click on enable device. Now open the camera app and then check. Still you're facing the problem, then allow camera and browser access in your antivirus programs. Few antivirus program uh, actually does not allow camera to be used. So uh, you can go to your antivirus settings and then check if camera is allowed or not. If you are not sure about this, you can skip this step. You can also disable your antivirus program when you're using the camera. Once you're done uh, using the camera, you can always enable your antivirus program. Now the next step is to go to this location. So open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open program files, now find real tech folder not all users will see this if you don't see this you can skip this step so if you see real tech then open this and you might see rs providers you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder as rs providers dot old old and then you can restart your computer after this restart your computer and after the system restart you can check the camera 
Now, if you don't see this, you can skip this step, follow the next step. Now, if you have MSI laptop, then for, for few model numbers, if you have MSI laptop, only for few model numbers, pressing Fn plus F6 on the keyboard helps you to enable or disable the camera. So you can try Fn plus F6 and then check. Now, if you have ASUS computer, for some model numbers only, pressing F10 enables the camera. So this will help you to enable or disable both. So you can press F10 and then check. Now, if you have HP laptop, now for some HP laptop uh, has a camera kill switch on the side of the laptop. Maybe it may be on the left, right, front. So just check if there is any kind of switch that is known as camera kill switch. It may be in blue color, it may be in red color, so or maybe gray color. So you have to on the side of the laptop, left, right, you can check if there is any kind of switch which you can slide to enable or disable the camera. Now, now this is for Lenovo computer users. You can press F8, which will help you to enable or disable the camera. Now, the next step is to update camera driver from device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. And then expand cameras, make a right click on the camera and then click on update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers and then click on search updated drivers on Windows update. And if there is any update, let the update complete and then restart the computer and then check. Still you're facing the problem, then make a right click and then click on update driver. And this time click on browse my computers for drivers. Click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then select USB video device and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, you can restart your computer and then check the camera. Now the next step is to update camera driver from your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. So if you have Asus computer, go to Asus website. So whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website. This is just an example. You can go to your system manufacturer website and then you can select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer. And this is just an example. You go to your system manufacturer website and then select your computer. Now, once you select your computer, you can go to drivers and software or drivers or downloads. And then you can find camera. If you find camera, go to camera and you can download the camera driver over here. So download and install the latest camera driver and then restart your computer and then check. So go to your system manufacturer website and update your camera driver. Next step is to uninstall it, uninstall the camera driver and then restart your computer to reinstall the camera driver. So make a right click on the start menu and then device manager and then expand cameras and then make a right click and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is complete, you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must. You have to restart your computer and during the system restart, it will install the default camera driver. The Windows 11 will install the default camera driver. That will be default Windows camera driver. And then you can open the camera app and then check. Next step is to go to your system BIOS. Sometimes camera is disabled in system BIOS. So you can start your computer and first of all, shut down your computer, then start your computer and immediately keep on tapping F2 to go to the system BIOS. Now this is for Dell computer. In Dell computer, when you start the computer and when you immediately tap F2, it will take you to the system BIOS. For different brands, there might be different BIOS key. So in different computers, it may be F10, F1, F3, F4. So you can find which one is the BIOS key uh, for your uh, brand, for Lenovo, what is the BIOS key? So how to go to the system BIOS in Lenovo computer? You can search in Google and go to the system BIOS and then in the BIOS, make sure camera is enabled in system BIOS. So you can find the camera in system BIOS. And if the camera is disabled over there, you can enable the uh, camera in BIOS and then restart the computer and then check if the camera is working or not.
Next step is to update Windows 11. Now this is important. So open Windows settings, go to update, uh, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then check the camera. Next step is to perform clean boot. For this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services, then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then check the camera. Next step is to update system wires. So go to your system manufacturer website once again and then select your computer, select your model number and then find the latest BIOS update available and download it and install it. Now if you have a laptop, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer, then update the system BIOS. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then open the camera and then check. Next step is to perform system restore. So type in system restore in Windows search box and then click on create a restore point. And over here, click on system restore and then click on next. Now you have to select the date and time on which date the camera was working fine. Suppose you started facing this problem today, then uh, in that case you can select the restore point on which date the camera was working fine. So if suppose you started facing the problem today, you can select the restore point for yesterday or maybe day before yesterday and then you can click on next and then click on next and then click on finish. Now ignore this error message, I have some problem but you will not receive any kind of error message. So perform system restore and after the system restore, log into the computer and then check the camera. Next step is to reset your computer. Now, before you perform reset, let me inform you that it will result in data loss. So you will lose all the data on your computer, all the application and data on the computer. So you can back up your data. So before you perform system reset, make sure that you create a backup first. Once you have a backup, then you can go for system restore. You have to reinstall all the third party application and you have to um, get all, the, you have to back up the data and then go for system reset. To reset, open Windows settings and then go to Windows update, then click on advanced option and then go to recovery. And over here you can see reset this PC, click on reset PC. And then over here you can see two options. One is keep my files. It will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. And remove everything will remove all your personal files, application and settings. So you can select the option which you want. And then go for local reinstall and then click on next. And once the system reset is done, you have to set up your computer. And once the setup is done, log into the computer, open camera and then check. Now, if nothing is working, even after the reset, your camera is not working, then there might be something, uh, some hardware issue with the camera. So maybe the camera is damaged or maybe some hardware issue. So in that case, you can contact your system manufacturer and then you can get a hold of technical support and then they can test your camera and they will let you know if there is, they might provide you replacement if, if the computer is under warranty or you might have to, if there is any kind of hardware issue, you might have to buy the camera. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the camera working on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.